Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. That's one card. And we have two. We have number two, Spirit, your higher self. We felt we have number one, Cycle, New Beginnings. Let's see what we have as an angel message. What do we have for Aries? Thank you for the week. 11th to the 17th of March, 2024. Power of angels. May your angels protect you, guide you and keep you safe. All right, Aries, let's pull some cards, see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Aries? Thank you for the week message for Aries for the week. Thank you. Message for Aries for the week. Thank you. We have the King of Pentacles, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, or the energy of the card. Ace of Swords. Well, we've got an emperor. This is your card in the major arcana. Emperor, the very good in terms of initiative, taking control, taking charge, taking the lead, decisiveness or key decision, but it could be dealing with an emperor as well. Ten of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Six of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And the Six of Swords. It feels like you're waiting, you've been waiting for some kind of breakthrough, but this is it. I mean, the Ace of Swords is a clarity, breakthrough, everything becoming clear, uh, very good in terms of communication, energy. Uh, this is a card of victory, triumph, success. I feel like you have been waiting for something here. The hangman, sometimes we wait. We wait for things to play out. We wait for things to kind of fall into place. I think that you have been waiting. Uh, this is surrendering, waiting for something to come in. But it feels like that, that Ace of Swords is breakthrough, success, victory, triumph. It's always lovely to see an Ace in a reading as well. Because the, the King of Pentacles can be very good in, in business terms, not limited to that, but the King of Pentacles can be very good in terms of money, career, finance, financial areas. They can hold opportunity, male or female, with this energy. They can also be very good in terms of investors, loans, uh, mortgages, bank managers, business advisors, business angels, um, partners. You know, it's the same kind of energy. Aries, it, I mean, it feels like it's your time to uh, receive. The Six of Pentacles can be someone reaching out, offering you something. It can be a sum of money. It can also be, you know, anything that the King of Pentacles is is offering. So it can be opportunities, something financial. Sometimes it can be advice that's as valuable as gold, you know. But I feel that, again, the, the Emperor energy, it feels like it's bringing you back to you, bringing you back to who you are. Uh, it feels like empowering.
for those of you, it could be an emperor deciding on, again, giving you something of value, you know, um, a key decision maker. This feels more like you. It's, I mean, generally when the Six of Pentacles, you know, appears in your reading, it can resonate. It's your time to receive spirit working through the situation to bring you what you need. To restore that sense of balance, you coming back to yourself, empowering energy, um, is what I'm seeing here. Because the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords, it's a hard won victory. And again, money terms, long term stability and security. So this just feels like um, you claim victory over, again, this sense of stillness or stagnation, or you've been waiting for some kind of breakthrough. We have two cards of victory in the reading. We have someone reaching out, offering you something here of value, very good in money terms. Um, and then the, the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security. You can move on from this situation here. Things are looking positive and hopeful. Again, the Six of Swords is when we feel that sense of we're getting back on track. We feel that the worst is behind us because you claimed your victory. You claimed your success. And now things are moving forward in a very positive way. This will be very good in terms of moving from what has been a difficult situation to better times. Again, Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability, security, financial success, abundance. This feels that kind of energy here. This will be very good in terms of career, clearly, you know, very good in terms of opportunity and career paths. This will be very good in terms of waiting for victory and even a sum of money to coming your way. The Ten of Pentacles can be very good in terms of inheritance, family money. Um, it can be a sum of money as well, very much like the, the Six of Pentacles, but it would be a significant sum of money. And it can also comprise of home, property, real estate. You know, it's the practical world. Um, this is the energy here, Aries, or some kind of payout. You've been waiting for some kind of victory, some kind of decision coming in, maybe to get some kind of fair offer in terms of what you feel you deserve. Well, there is a victory coming your way and you can finally put this situation behind you and move on from it, detach from it. Uh, sometimes indicates as well with the Six of Swords, travel, moving, relocating, moving from, from A to B. Again, what, whatever has challenged you here, you might have been biding your time to find the right new opportunity. Again, you might have been waiting for the right thing to fall in your lap. I mean, the same message applies. You might have been waiting for a victory to come in so that you can finally detach from this situation. It's the same kind of energy. But this is that sense of financial success and um, abundance is coming your way. I feel this person is either instrumental in it or they hold the purse strings. Is what I'm seeing here, Aries. You've just been waiting for your breakthrough. You've been waiting for a victory. You've been waiting for the success, but it's coming in. Either to do with this person or this person is instrumental in bringing that to you. Because you're taking charge and taking control. And likely, you know, uh, it might well be that that's what's been required of you. being the empire builder let's see what we have with the king of pentacles yeah the nine of pentacles getting what you deserve <laughs> nine of pentacles this is standing in your own abundance this is financial success again the nine of pentacles is getting what you deserve either you've put a lot of time into and likely you've put a lot of time into this to get the outcome that you want but there is there are two cards of victory here and a sense of detaching from a situation and feeling that sense of relief and release um this is the energy here this is the energy here so very good in terms of business career financial aspects standing on your own two feet in your own abundance if you didn't feel like you were up until this point, I mean, the cards are saying that likely this is coming your way. 
there's a new beginning, a new door opening up for you. All right, Aries. It's your time to receive. I mean, that's what the cards are saying. What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries. We have find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? And that's kind of the emperor energy. You know, the emperor doesn't really uh, understands that the emperor can't control everything. But what the emperor can control will use his own power, authority, belief, self-belief to, to externally act and shape the world the way that he wants it. Really doesn't allow the external forces to really get the better of how he wants his focused intention to play out, you know. So this is the energy here of whatever's going on outside here, whatever is, is coming in and acting on you. It's about taking control and taking power that you have everything that you need to take control of a situation and shape things the way that you want, you know, in a pretty empowered way. And it's likely shaping an outcome here, believing in your own ability to get the end result, which is a hard won victory. Getting what you deserve, financial success, abundance or a sum of money. Aries, that's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.